Hello, and thank you for your interest in Komatsu products. Today, we will be discussing the work equipment operation of Komatsu's mid-size wheel loaders. With that, let's get started. Oftentimes, Komatsu's mid-size wheel loaders are delivered from the factory without a bucket. For that reason, it's very important to set the bucket level position adjustment on a new machine with its new bucket, or an existing machine getting a different bucket. The first step is to position your machine on a flat level surface. Next, lower the boom and level the bucket. This may require visual verification by you or a helper. With the key on, engine running, let's access the user menu and pull up the Machine Setting in the Information tab by pushing the menu switch twice. Using the up or down switches, scroll to Bucket Flat Level Select in the menu. Then push Enter. You now have three choices of what to label your current bucket. Today we will call it Bucket A. With A highlighted, push the menu switch. Two menu items are now listed. Highlight Bucket Level Position Adjustment and push Enter switch. Follow the on-screen instructions. Since your bucket should already be on the ground and level, push enter switch and follow the step two instructions, which request you to raise the boom to its highest position. Lower the boom to the ground and you have completed the bucket level position adjustment. Komatsu wheel loaders have a feature called remote positioning for the bucket and boom. This feature can be adjusted on the right switch console. Let's adjust the bucket first. Raise the boom and dump the bucket. Put the bucket lever in the tilt detent and let go of the handle. The bucket will tilt automatically and kick out of the detent when it has reached the level position that we set earlier. Now lower the boom just above the ground. You can adjust the bucket angle plus or minus five degrees from your level position. Let's assume you need a negative angle. Using the bucket lever, move the bucket to the dump position very slightly. You can check your angle by pressing the bottom side of the remote positioner switch quickly one time, and your reading will momentarily display and the buzzer will beep twice. If you are happy with the position, you are finished. If you need more or less angle, move the bucket with the bucket lever and push the bottom switch again. If you want to clear the setting and have the bucket return to the zero position, push and hold the bottom switch for longer than one second. The buzzer sounds one long beep indicating remote positioning has been cleared. Now let's operate the remote boom positioner. The boom can be set up in a raised or a lowered position. We'll set up the raised position first. Set the boom to a desired raised position above horizontal and return the boom lever to a hold position. Now momentarily push the top of the remote positioner switch. The buzzer should beep twice and the icon on the monitor should change to now include a line above the bucket. To test the setting, lower the boom to the ground. Pull the boom lever into the raised detent and release the lever. The boom lever should kick out and the boom should stop at the desired height. To clear a raised position, raise the boom above horizontal, then push and hold the top positioner switch. The buzzer should make one long beep and the top line should disappear from the icon. To set the lower remote positioner, lower the boom to a position below horizontal but above the ground surface level. Return the boom lever to hold. Momentarily push the top remote switch the buzzer should beep twice and a line should appear below the bucket on the icon. To test the lower remote position, first make sure the area around the machine is completely clear of personnel and equipment. Raise the boom above the horizontal position. Now firmly push the boom lever all the way forward into the float detent. Gravity will cause the boom to lower very rapidly and it will stop short of hitting the ground. Do not try this movement with any material in the bucket. You can clear the lower remote positioner by placing the boom below horizontal. Push and hold the top remote switch until one long beep is sounded and the line disappears from under the bucket icon. Another useful feature included in Komatsu's mid-size wheel loaders is auto kickdown. This feature can be enabled and disabled by the operator. Using the machine setting and information tab, when this feature is enabled, the machine monitors speed and work equipment posture. The following conditions are necessary for auto kickdown to function. The shift mode must be in auto mode, forward direction, boom lowered, bucket level, no brake application, machine moving three kilometers per hour or less. 
The transmission kicks down from F2 to F1 as the machine penetrates the pile. When the machine is shifted to reverse, it moves in R2. This concludes the work equipment operation of Komatsu's midsize wheel loaders. If you need any additional information or have any questions, please reference the Operation and Maintenance Manual located inside the cab. Thank you for your interest in Komatsu.